Hey, what's going on guys? It is Psycho here and today I'm very excited to bring you guys a brand new tutorial video where I'm going to show you how I got my custom skins onto Unity. So, as you may or may not know, if you had a personal edition of Unity, you cannot use any other skins rather than using the default skin, which is very light-ish gray. So it really hurts your eyes after a while and I was tired of it so I found this kind of asset slash plugin that you can use for Unity which will let you change all the skins on Unity including um, having the default uh, dark skin for personal or the professional edition of the Unity. So anyway I am going to now show you guys the link so you can you're, you're gonna find this link in the description below so you just have to click it and then what you want to do here you want to browse down you're gonna see a few screenshots of unity this is going to be how it looks unless you change it to your personal desired skin so you're gonna see the download section and you what you want to do here you just want to click on the first one so it's gonna start downloading and um, I'm gonna open up Unity in the in meanwhile, so I'm just having it open up and let it download and open up your Unity project. It can be any project you want, but however, note that you need to import this asset into every single project um, that you want to use the custom skins on. So what I'm gonna do now is I wanna show this in Explorer. So I'm just gonna right click, show in Explorer, there we go. I'm gonna open the assets folder. So now I'm gonna switch back to Google Chrome open up this in um, WinRAR and what you want to do now is you literally only have to mark uh, highlight these two files that are inside of um, the zip that you just downloaded one of them are actually a folder and you just want to drag them inside of the assets folder literally that so after that's done you just want to close the zip file and you obviously want to close this one so you're just gonna let unity import it now so i'm gonna pause the video here and let you guys know when it's done all right so it's almost done and it roughly takes about a minute and um after that it's pretty much done so now i'm gonna show you guys now that we have all the assets inside of our project you can see that it already changed to my default desired skin and um, I'm gonna show you guys how you can change between the skins now. So you can see that you have a new toolbar on the top left corner called for Zios. So this is the themes name and um, you only have one sub bar obviously called for theme. So you just have to highlight that. And then you can switch between these by clicking on previous palette and next palette. And you can also just hold down alt and then click on F1 for previous and F2 for next one. So it's very, very, very simple and very simplistic to just change between the skins. And you can obviously customize the skins by simply going to edit and then clicking on preferences. And I'm just gonna drag this in here, there we go. So you can see that we now have a bunch of different things here. You just wanna click on themes. There's also one called for Zios. I never actually played around with this, but you just wanna click on themes and now you can see that we also can switch back to the default skin of Unity. So if I choose that, it's always going to default the skin itself. So I just want to have it on simplicity. And you can see that we have icon sets, palette. You can also choose and see every single palette that is very actually available inside of this asset. And there are actually many more here. So I really like, um, personally, I really, really like having dark skin on literally everything. All the softwares that I work on, including the compiler and, you know, Unity itself. And Unreal Engine obviously has a dark skin, so it's very easy when I go back to it. So anyway, um, I really like these type of skins, and this is perfect for me. If you want to have this one, it's called for basic slash darkness. So it's, it's inside of basic, and it's... Um, initial name is darkness so you just want to highlight this and it boom there you go your custom skin is very available there so you can also change uh, very detailed things such as the fonts um, you know obviously the rendering mode the borders the font itself that is going to be used so it's very interesting how different this asset slash plugin is I rather call this for a plugin it's very very interesting to have this plugin because you can play around with everything regarding the UI and it's a very very smoothly working plugin too so it's never going to um, interfere with the UI itself and also guys I forgot to do this in the beginning of the video don't forget to support the actual author and the creator of this plugin slash asset his name is 
Brad Smith. I hope I didn't butcher that name. It has two E's afterwards, but I don't really know how you uh, want to pronounce that word. But anyway, so don't forget to support him. I'm not the creator of this asset slash plugin, just to make it clear for everybody. Um, this is the guy who created it all. So big thank you to him because he obviously saved a lot of people's eyes. So. Um, big thank you to him and um, make sure to support him. He's also on Unity's forum. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to stay up to tune for new videos coming soon. And I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. See you all guys. Love you. Bye. Peace, peace.